going to troubleshoot a distributor problems on these kind of trucks like a 1989 Chevrolet or a GMC full-size pickup. So on these kind of distributors that use this kind of module, there's a ring here and underneath there attached to those two wires is a coil. You can uh, remove the reluctor by removing the pin from the gear that goes in the camshaft. Knock it out and then this whole thing will come out the way it did on this one here. And by taking out that plate, you can get to the coil that has those wires. The coils do fail. So the way to check it is with a multimeter set to a fairly low range, low range. Make sure it's the millivolt range. So if I connect the leads to the multimeter, from the coil, then I'll get a reading when it's at rest like this. If I rotate the whole distributor, notice how I'm getting a voltage generated from the magnet and the coil, which is basically And when I stop, it goes back to zero. So the coil inside this distributor is just fine. Anyway, that's a quick check. And those coils are not terribly expensive. I got for like $8, I think. Anyway, they usually come with a clip there, but you can reuse it if you're carefully pry that off. Okay. That's how you do it.